guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from the Fox Gaming Crew. How's it going? Um, so I just wanted to make a short video on uh, a topic that probably is not widely talked about, uh, which is cyberbullying or cyber harassing. Um, so over the past year, I have been subject to a stalker. Um, initially, he was just writing comments um, and, you know, really really hate like uh, the, the comments were you know involved a lot of hatred um, and you know he was harassing my viewers as well uh, I'm not gonna say who this person is I don't want to draw any kind of attention to him whatsoever um, but you know initially it was making comments I even made a video about him um, and I did a reading, which I'll, I might be doing again after this video. But I just wanted to, to kind of get some things out in the open here. Um, so I've actually kind of written things down. So um, as I was saying, like he initially did, he initially made a lot of you know negative comments and stuff like that. So I kind of ignored him. Um, and instead, what I did was I kept on taking screenshots of his comments um, and just, you know, just marking down the times and the dates that he, he was harassing me. Um, so I thought he was gone. You know, I, I did what every you know, person out there would do, um, and I blocked him and uh, reported him as well. But of course, you know, being on YouTube, there's ways around it. So he made a couple of alias channels uh, to continue the harassing. But I continued to to block the guy. Um, so I thought he was gone. I thought that was the end of it. But recently, he made a video of uh, about me. And again, I'm not going to talk about what he said in the video because you know, this video that I'm making isn't about him. It's about you know. Um, bullying it's about trolling um, you know it's about bringing awareness to the type of people uh, that get pleasure out of doing something you know doing this kind of stuff and the reason why they're doing it the reason why they're motivated is to spread fear so usually they target people that speak the truth right and so obviously I'm hitting the nerve in some people out there. But for the most part, trolling is pretty innocent, right? It's harmless. Um, you make a comment here and there and, um, you know, it'll get a reaction and, and that's the end of it. But there are some people out there who really derive a lot of pleasure out of hurting other people. You know, they, they get enjoyment um, out of spreading hatred and anger so you know this comprises of a very small group of people about five percent of, of the population of trolls um, are what's con considered to be like the dark triad or dark tetrad of the internet um, and they have you know these are people that have really antisocial traits um, some of the traits are what is it, a uh, Machiavellian, I think, I don't know if you, I pronounce it right, but that's someone who's cold or detached, and they use that detachment in order to manipulate others. Then uh, another trait is narcissism, which um, they have an inflated sense of self and um, a lack of empathy for other people. Uh, psychopathy, which is an antisocial personality disorder and is the inability to feel empathy or guilt and a tendency to take advantage of others and the fourth one is sadism people who take pleasure from others pain so there are people like this out there right and the best thing to do 
is not to challenge them or to approach them or give them any attention whatsoever. Um, instead, you leave it to the authorities, and that's exactly what I did. Um, I downloaded the video that he made of me. Um, I took screenshots of his um, of his channel and of all the comments, and I gave I handed them over to the authorities. So I contacted the Canadian um, Cyber Crimes Unit, and they're going to be doing a full investigation on the guy. So. The thing with trolling is that some people think, you know, that you're anonymous. And that, that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, John Suller actually termed the coin, or coined the term, um, what is it, uh, the online um, disinhibition um, effect. That's what it is. So this is, you know, there's a lot of factors that go along um, with this effect. But mainly, you know, if you want to look it up, you can go ahead. I'm not going to go through them all. But basically, they all rely on the fact that um, trollers think that they're anonymous, that they are invisible, they can't be seen. Uh, and like I said, that's farther from the truth. Unless, of course, you're using the dark net. And so... Darknet is, and it's, it's software, allows you to, to bounce around from IP address to IP address. Okay, so that type of <clears throat> platform doesn't work on YouTube or Facebook, which require a permanent IP address. So if you have a YouTube account, then that means that your IP address has been um, imprinted. Okay, so when you get somebody's IP address, you can get their home phone number, their home address, and guess who's going to come knocking on your door. Okay, so you are not anonymous. Anything you do, all the actions that you take, all the comments that you make, can be traced back to you. So I don't take threats idly. I will not allow myself to be threatened or intimidated by anybody out there. Okay? Um, I guess what the, the message of this video is, it is perfectly okay for you to set up boundaries. Okay? For you to take measures to protect yourself. Yes, I am on YouTube. My personal life is no longer personal. I've exposed myself to the world. I've made myself vulnerable, and I understand that there's going to be trolls out there who are going to take advantage of that. Okay, and like I said, I'm, I understand that, but you have a right to say what you want out there. That's everybody's right, but I have a right to not subject myself to ignorant behavior and negative energy. So, yeah, some people out there are going to say, well, you know, if you, um, you know, cut off contact to certain people, you know, aren't you creating the illusion of separation, right? And that's exactly the opposite of what we want to do. We want to create oneness. So I would say yes to a certain degree you need to put up boundaries. Um, just because there are some people out there uh, who, you know, the trolls are not out there to um, get guidance from anybody. They're out there to spread hatred and spread fear, okay? They're not there to um, connect um, or heal themselves. Far from it. And so I have a right to protect myself put up boundaries. I decide who I allow into my personal space. Okay, I have a right to restrict certain energies from my um, my personal space. And I have absolute zero tolerance for hatred. As should we all, right? That doesn't mean excluding people, you know, um, 
for you know a couple things that they said here and there okay this is gone beyond that right um, and I am not responsible for those people right this is a journey of consciousness this is a journey that we are on alone okay we all need to walk that path alone so it is not up to me to try to heal everybody that comes across me you know across my path all I am here to do is to read the messages that I get from the universe I'm not here as a leader I'm not here as a preacher or a spiritual leader okay I am here to give the messages that are given to me to relay those messages to you and you do what you will with those messages all right so um, we I believe have a responsibility as a twin flame community to to look out you know uh, for one another to protect one another from this kind of energy um, so I, I say to you guys if you happen to come across somebody who is being negative who is spewing hatred all over the internet then report them block them don't give them the ability to do that to other people right we want to spread love and we that doesn't mean we have to be a victim as a result when we put ourselves out there for other people you know in front of other people um, you know it doesn't mean that uh, we have to take all the hit all the punches do you understand what I'm saying um, or turn the blinds eye to certain situations it's it's zero tolerance all right this is this is not allowed in my my life I mean unfortunately unfortunately we live in a world of dualities right there's black there's white there's good bad um, but we gotta find that middle ground we can't exist in either extremes right so everybody needs to sit down and decide what it is that they will allow into their their space what is your shade of gray what will you um, stand up for what will you um, allow and uh, so anyway yeah that's kind of basically what I wanted to to say to you guys that um, harassment and bullying is a very serious crime um, not that long ago um, a young girl killed herself because of bullying here in my my small town so I take it very seriously okay so if you come on to my channel with the intention of you know trying to hurt me in some way I will protect myself straight up and I'm letting you know right now that's I'm not taking any kind of bullshit all right it's not you know my channel is all about not giving a fuck well I do not give a fuck about that type of behavior straight up so let me just pull a couple of cards from the Osho Zen and see if um, spirit will give me a little bit more guidance or maybe a you know a message that I can read for you so I'm just gonna pick two cards from this deck and then one card from I think the call it Baron Reed and I'm just gonna read the messages there's no timeline there's no question I just want to know what spirit has to say or what kind of guidance spirit has to offer okay so two cards so totality and exhaustion so the five of wands and nine of wands okay and I'm going to pull one card from the call it Baron Reed wisdom of the Oracle I'm pretty sure these aren't upside down yet okay why and 
one more card from Call It Baron Reed, Enchanted Map. Oh, okay, well, let's pick this one. Follow the leader. Very interesting. Okay, so for the Osho Zen, I'll read number five first. Oh, wow, I opened almost right to the page. Okay, so these three women are high in the air, playfully and fr playful and free yet alert and in interdependent. In a trapeze act, nobody can afford to, to be a little bit absent, even for a split second. And it is this quality of total attentiveness to the moment at hand that is represented here. We may feel there are too many things to do at once, but we get bo boggled down in trying a, to do a bit here, a bit there, instead of taking in one task at a time and getting on with it. Or perhaps we think our task is boring because we have forgotten that it is not what you do but how you do it that matters. Developing the knack of being total in responding to whatever comes as it comes is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself. Taking one step through life at a time, giving each step your complete attention and energy can bring wondrous new vitality and creativity to all that you do. Okay, wow. As I was reading that, I got a major, major download. So what I envisioned is that we are all pillars of light. Okay, we are here to ground um, light onto the earth. Okay, so um, I am a very powerful being of light, and darkness cannot exist in light. So, um, so are you. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> when, you know, we all have a role to play. And that role is to be conscious, okay? Um, if somebody is fully aware and awake and conscious in a room of people, you can feel that energy. You can feel that vi vibration, right? You cannot um, fool or manipulate somebody who is awake or aware, right? They, there's this presence about them. They hold the light. They hold consciousness. And no words need to be uttered. They don't need to say anything. All you need to do is just look into the, their eyes. It can, and you can see and feel awareness. And that is what we are here to do. To not be unconscious, not um, walk through life blindly, right? To take notice of things, live in this moment, right? Not um, for something that is out there that we, we need to attain, right? Um, have gratitude for just being alive and in this moment. So what this card is really screaming to me is, is consciousness, living life in totality, okay, and not reacting um, to people who harass you or want to see you hurt, right? Um, so once again, if somebody is doing that to you, don't respond to it. Don't feed the troll. Okay, so the next card that came up was the Nine of Wands, Exhaustion. So in the Rider Weight deck, that is the Wounded Warrior. Oh, sorry. Okay. So this is a portrait of one whose whole life energy has been depleted in his effort to keep fueling the enormous and ridiculous machine of self-importance and productivity. Okay, so there's that narcissistic energy there, right? This self, this inflated view of oneself. Okay, so he has been so busy keeping it all together and making sure everything runs smooth, smoothly that he has forgotten to really rest. No doubt he can't allow himself to be playful. To abandon his duty for a trip to the beach could mean the whole structure might come tumbling down. The message of this card is not just about being a workaholic, though. 
uh, it is about all the ways in which we set up safe but unnatural routines for ourselves and by doing so keep the chaotic and spontane spontaneous away from our door. Life isn't about a business to be managed. It's a mystery to be lived. It's a time to tear up the time card. It is time to tear up the time card, break out of the factory, and take a little trip t into uncharted territories. Your work can flow more smoothly from a relaxed state of mind. So, you know, what I feel here very strongly is, you know, when you put yourself out there, there is a lot of stress that comes along with it. You know, there's a lot of responsibility and expectations that, that come along with it. And so you are basically a magnet for um, this idea of, you know, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is you, after a while, you start to feel this self-importance, right? And you want to keep up that, um, that role, right? And so by feeling that machine, you need more and more, um, fuel. <laughs> and so it's a few, it's a machine of self-importance, right? So put down the burden, right? Stop fighting. Um, you know, if there are things that are stressing you, um, people who are putting expectations on your back, then you need to put the burdens down and look after yourself. Rest. Um, yeah, don't allow things to take control of your life because it's all an illusion, right? You're, you are portraying this you know, certain type of person, but is it real? You know, um, are you being conscious? Are you in, in totality? Or are you trying to feel this illusion, you know, keep this illusion of self-importance um, going? So you have a choice to release yourself from that machine. So the next card is why. Oh, wow, and open it right to the, the page. That's incredible. Okay. So the essential meaning is motives, driving attention, the power of knowing why. So the oracle message is, there is a great power in understanding your motives right now. The oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking the question. Um, looking for the, sorry, the, oracles, the oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question. Looking for this answer behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you're clear about it, your intentions will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. The invisible why is the force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. So what I felt very strongly is, you know, looking at trolls as that book, right? And asking the question, why? What are his motives? Why, what is his driving intention? What does he want to do? What does he hope to achieve by doing this to me? And what it comes down to is the ego and fear. Um, so it's pretty simple. I almost feel like this is the troll sitting in that machine of self-importance. You know, um, he he feels a sense of joy and gratitude by sending out negative vibrations into the universe. He he, he feeds on it. Okay, so the last card is follow the leader. Okay, so every life is a teaching tool for others. 
Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. You're being called, whoa, whoa I just noticed page 111. Um, you're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery and the adventure of your life. The experiences of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. And that's what I am. I'm in service to others, to you. Okay, I, I don't expect anything in return. I, um, this channel started as a result of my art. Um, not because of tarot it just happened to be that way and um, I was already awake before um, I started the channel and so I decided to use that as a tool to share the wisdom that I've acquired okay so your suffering has been crystallized in the talisman of wisdom now you must share it by being fully authentic you'll lead others into the light wow isn't that fucking crazy right I am being authentic I'm telling you exactly how I feel and what I will allow and what I won't allow and that comes from wisdom that I've acquired over the years and just as you have right this is not an ego trip I'm just telling you how it is okay so by being fully authentic you'll lead others into the light you'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you may have um, sorry You'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There is another message here as well. Look at those whose great character and accomplishments you admire. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will then, in turn, have more to offer. So, you know, I feel that we're all leaders. We're all students as well. Right? You take bits of information and knowledge from those people that cross your path right and so um, celebrate the people in your life that are you know helping you to to bring out the best you that you can be and vice versa all right so I don't know should we pull one more final message from Miss and Mermaids? Yeah, what the heck, let's do that. So one final message to the collective, from the collective. This one, all right. Alchemical Seas, wow, I think that's also about being a leader too. Crazy. And uh, I mean, I said earlier, I'm not a leader at all. I don't consider myself to be that. I'm a conduit. Radiant maiden from the sea asserts her strength and authority, grabs her staff of power grand. With eyes aloof, she takes her stand. Among the beasts of sea and land, she schemes to make all of them free. Why would she lead the likes of me? A powerful figure stands in a sea surging with sea monsters. Her staff of power asserts her authority as the sky begins to brighten behind her. She is coming into her own and stretching her muscles, literally and figuratively. So the meaning is anticipate a new authority. The seas are turbulent with change and soon a new power shall arise. A new figure of authority will assert itself into your life. And it is best to be prepared mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and materially. This leader may be your, in your professional, spiritual, academic, or social realm. They may be leadership challenges at your work, a new spiritual leader at your current place of worship, or even a new acquaintance who will become prominent in your personal life. While a change of authority can be stressful or cause conflict for a time, take heart. Once the seas have calmed, life will return to a state of peace and stability. Take the time to get to know this individual and learn how she conducts herself. Could she become a role model or a mentor to you? Is she a cautionary example? Or is she telling you it's time to move to calmer waters? So. What I'm feeling strongly here is moving to calmer waters, right? Um, when somebody comes towards you with this author authoritarian type of attitude, you know, it can pro 
repel a lot of people, okay? But also, you know, this speaks of trolls as well, right? I see this as the monsters in the sea that want to hurt you on some level, but she seems completely oblivious to it. She's holding her staff of authority. She's a very powerful being. And so you are the leader of your own spiritual path, right? You, um, you know, you are that powerful be being, so stand proud, stand tall, and use your light within to guide others out of the darkness. All right, so I do hope this helped somebody out there, and I'm sending you massive love and peace your way. All right, guys, cheers.